Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crabboard back again with another video. Now, as you can see, I have stitches on my head. And if you want to know why, to make a long story short, I got hit in the head with a flying kayak. I was on vacation for the week, so this video will be late. And I'm also going on vacation next week as well, which means I'm going to stockpile a bunch of videos, so I'm going to be on time. But anyway, today we're going to be doing a similar type of video to what I do. I'm going to be blending different artist vocals that I've come up with into one to see how they work. Uh, this will be the Post Malone and Travis Scott type vocal, which will basically be a Travis Scott vocal in the style of the Post Malone. I haven't done anything yet, but we're going to try it now. With that being said, before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe the notification bell as well, so you never miss a video that I post. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. I get a lot of sweet things on there like preset packs all my equipment all my music my social media and a distro kid link to get five percent off your sign up so you can put all your music on all the streaming sites that are available to you anyway let's uh do the travis scott and post malone type vocal let's get in the video So as you can see, I have nothing here yet, and I have the stargazing instrumental because I kind of know how that one flows. I did a video on it before with Travis Scott, if you haven't seen it yet. And also the lyrics are different now than what I had last time. Because then this storm came in to save my life. I remember it being, then this girl came in. So to begin, we're going to pull up my two latest vocals that have to do with Travis Scott and Post Malone. And I did save them as presets, and they're not available yet, but I'm going to show you the exact plugin strip that I get. What I'm going to do is find each one. We got Post Buys, and then we have Travis can't say. Ow. We got the can't say vocal, and then the goodbyes vocal. Let me make a dry track. So this could be confusing, but I'm going to show you what my plan is here. What I'm going to do is combine plugins from each one into one chain that fits them both. First, got to set up the buses. If you see there's all the buses here, but none are created, just go into a separate track and create one, two, and three, and they'll all appear. Simple as that. One, two, three. If you have any of my other presets, that has been a problem for people where they don't know where the buses are. All you got to do is one, two, three. So we have the Travis Scott and the Post Malone right here. So we're going to do the Post Malone compression and uh, pitch. We'll take each one over. Okay. Let's do the EQ. Okay. Now we'll switch over to the Travis Scott one and add the exciter and then the pedal board as well. And we'll turn it down because it's loud as hell. That's the track that's combined. We'll name it combined. Now we gotta set up the buses. Uh, this might be confusing to people who haven't used the presets yet, but these are meant to go in the bus. Like for example, we won't use stereo delay, we don't need that. Uh, bus one, we're gonna put our compressor and stereo spread in there. Bus two will be Travis Scott's reverb for the chain. And then bus three will be Post Malone's. And what are the settings? So bus one, negative 10. So make it negative 10. Turn these on. Bus one is controlling a compressor and a stereo spread. It basically widens the vocal and I showed that in the goodbyes tutorial. Bus two, so like I said, this is the Travis Scott one. We have it set to negative 6.7, negative 6.7. And Post Malone's reverb was at eight, negative 18.2. Huh. Maybe take this one down a bit to negative 10. Okay. All right, if that was confusing to you, um, don't worry about that. We're gonna go over the entire combined track right now and then try to make something out of it. We're gonna start with pitch correction here and pitch correction is found like I always do. Pitch, pitch correction, mono. Natural minor scale G worked for this song for stargazing and goodbyes. Now it might not work for you, because it all depends on the uh, key of your song or the way you're singing. You really only need to stay between major scale and natural minor. There's so many of these things that it may become very confusing. Uh, just stick with natural minor and major and go through each root one by one until you find the correct uh, or good sounding thing. So we're gonna make it five response time. Next is channel EQ, EQ, channel EQ, mono. Inside, what I want you to do, you can double click every one of these numbers here. And if you change it to my exact settings, it'll make this slope. And then also the gain right here is at plus two dB. So just pause it right here. And you can just type in all these just so you don't have to listen to me talk about it. Next, we got two compressors we made. So the first one, Dynamics, Compressor, Mono. Within it, we have a Studio FET. This one was meant to bring the needle to negative five. So for that, we have a threshold of negative five, a ratio of 2.5 to one, a makeup of five because we took away five, auto gain's always off, attack is at nine, fast attack, release is at 310, slow release. No distortion, everything's cool. And now for the second compressor, this one was more of a distortion compressor, so Dynamics, Compressor, Mono. In this compressor, we're in a vintage opto, and the goal for this one was to go negative 2.5 the first compressor does negative 5 and the second one was negative 2 so we don't just have one compressor doing all the work the thresholds at negative 25 ratio is at 2.2 to 1 makeups at 2.5 because it took away 2.5 auto gains off knees at 0.7 didn't change it attacks at 20 releases at 100 distortions on soft and then that's it next we have the other channel eq i believe this one's very simple eq channel eq mono this one's just a little dropper on the 500 hertz area all you got to do is click the green right here double click it make sure it's 500 or 510 we'll make it 500 so it's perfect. 
500, negative 2 dB with a 0.3 on the width. Okay, so you can just type those uh, values in and it'll change. And I did not raise the gain anything. All right, next we switch over to the uh, Travis Scott Exciter. So the Exciter, specialized, Exciter, mono, 4400 hertz frequency, and then plus 100% harmonics with color one. Don't know what the colors do exactly. Then we got the pedals to come in here. Amps and pedals, pedal board mono. Uh, inside we have a basic squash. It's like another compressor. We might not need this, but we're going to throw it in there just because. Compressor, basic squash, sustain. Stains at negative 14 dB and then levels at 3 with a fast attack. And then for bus one, after you create bus one, we have a compressor and a stereo spread. So for the first compressor, all you gotta do is take the second compressor, which looks like this, copy and drag it over by holding option and just drag it over and put it in there. Then stereo spread is found in imaging, stereo spread, mono stereo. When you're inside of it, we want a 30%, 30%, 10,000 upper and 240 lower with a 12 order. And that's that. Bus 2 was the Travis Scott one that I used for the tutorial, and that is reverb, spaces under mono stereo. Within it, we have the upper echelons reverb, large space, outdoor, 9.2, negative 12.5 wet, and then negative 10 dry. Nothing else has changed. And then for the Post Malone one, reverb, spaces under mono stereo, we have a 4.4 second dream hall, which is large, hall, 4.4 second dream, negative 10 dry, zero wet. Nothing else has changed. So with that being said, hopefully this is not confusing, but bus two is the Travis Scott bus. Negative 10 now. Then bus three is a negative 20. These can be changed, two and three, but we're gonna see what the best uh, sound is. Negative 10, negative 20, negative 10. So in order to make it a Post Malone kind of type style, we wanna have a harmonizing backup. So duplicate the combined tracks. We duplicated it, and now we have two. Click the bottom of the track, delay. Sample delay, mono stereo, and just make it delayed by 800. All right, now it's just around your head. Very simple, remove the volume. Okay, and now that we did everything, we're gonna record it and hopefully it sounds like I expected. So here we go. Super loud, hey. Before I end the video uncut, this is what how many recordings I have. If you guys want an idea of how to space these out, you can refer to my Post Malone goodbyes tutorial for the harmonization, or you can just take each knob and turn it to whatever and pan each one to the left or right randomly, if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> Well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. And make sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, maybe if I should do it again. If you want to see more, drop two names in the comment section below that I can blend together and try to make something cool. Like I said before, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, notification bell as well. My description is chock full of sweet things that'll help you and me at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a crab lord blending Travis Scott and Post Malone vocals together in Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins. And like always, we out.